So it is Sunday. I'm about to edit this week's vlog, so it'll be up tomorrow. Um, but I have to put a, all of last week clips on my external hard drive. YouTube gave this to me at an event about two, three, four years ago now. And it still has room on it. Um, if I can find it, Seagate something. I put it below. Love, love, love this because these computers don't hold that much. So yeah, let's get the week started. Life with a teenager. Bruh. She gonna kill me when she get out this room. Watch this. I mean, restroom. Room just look a mess. Show them this fit. <laughs> hold up the hold light. On. Okay, hold on. Go over there by your shoes because the light the one of me out. Show them your fits. <laughs> and where it come from? Sheen. Okay. Socks from Sheen. Shorts from hey, where Sheen. you be? Shirts from Sheen. Was everybody Sheen. could run, run a free where you was at? Oh, of course. Okay, what you eat? <laughs> some ribs, some chicken, some beans, some greens, some pasta salad. It was good. Okay. Well, tell them to do what? Tell them. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Period. In bio. And goodbye. In description. You done. Hey guys, I'm trying something new because I'm craving pizza, but I can't eat regular pizza because of the grease and the um the tomato based sauce. So this is cauliflower crust, the onion um cream sauce with spinach and mushrooms and i ain't gonna lie i added some bacon bits <laughs> so let's see how this go it looks pretty good the lear came i'm super excited oh, I Ooh, we have to undo some of them they be stuck but 30 dollars amazon review of it don't look at my vanity yeah, we got to move, so I don't put no effort into this house. I think I mentioned it in another vlog. We got to upgrade. We need three times the size of this house. All right, guys, so let's get it Monday. If you watch me religiously, you should know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Post office. I only have a few packages I keep saying over and over. I don't have any inventory right now, so I'm not going to have a lot of packages, and I don't have inventory. Um, I do have something on the way now. Well, five things on the way now. Um, six things on the way now. And I'm holding off on the Relic, the Black Velvet. And, um, yeah, that production takes a little bit longer because those are my custom pieces. There's a difference. I have custom pieces and I have pre-made. The customs are the ones that I actually design and have to get made. And the other pieces are pieces that I really, really love and I wear on a daily and I just contacted the person who make them to do bulk orders for me. So yeah, anyway, um, I have two packages at the post office. So please, please, please watch your addresses on these packages, guys, um, because I will contact you and ask you to pay shipping again because technically that's not my fault if you put the wrong address in. Um, and I have to go find a hook to hang this chandelier. I want the command kind so I don't have to deal with any nails or anything. Because it's not going to be up long. Because like I said, we're planning on moving. And um, I have to take baby girl to track practice. It's something else I have to do, y'all. It's skipping my mind. Oh, I have to go tour my new building. My warehouse office. So I have to go tour it. Um, and tonight, Nicole and I are supposed to go and get the rest of my stuff from the salon. So, yeah, let's go. That one, the ad address is wrong. We got the address wrong. Yeah, one of them already wrote me and told me. Okay. My label maker ran out on a couple of mine. I had to print on a regular printer and it was on one of those rainy days. Oh, okay, that's so it smeared it. But all of those delivered. That was so weird to me. I was so worried. But they all made it to the people. Mm, yeah, this lady already wrote me. She said she put her address in wrong. Oh, there's no problem. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, this is the second time. Yeah. All right, guys. So one of these, the lady already contacted me and said that she put the wrong address. So, um, yeah, as a courtesy, I'm just going to send it back to her this time. As a courtesy, because I'm in a good mood. But, but this other one, this is my second time it's done came back. So let me tell you a little quick story about this building and how people think they know you and they don't. And why I I have no privacy nowadays, okay? So the lady calls me and she's like, you're scheduled for um, to come get keys to a building today. And she says, so we just had a few questions. She was like, is it just you or is it gonna be two people in the office? And I was like, it's just me. And so she was like, um, can we get clarification? She said, so um, this is for Contour Me by Nikki, right? And I was like, yes. And she was like, so you do makeup because that kind of services is not allowed in this building. I said, no, ma'am, I have a shape our line. If you go research, research, honey, people can have more than one business. Oh, okay, well, yeah, we was just making sure. Yeah, no, don't make sure shit. If I wanted it for makeup, I would have put makeup on the application. Like, is this a, should that annoy me but like girl you really thought you thought all right guys that was beautiful but they wouldn't allow me to record in there because other businesses are in there and it's a violation of privacy beautiful beautiful building but the rooms are way too small for me like i might as well stay at the house the rooms are super small and i was like what's the square feet and i was like oh we don't know square feet we just baby i gotta know square feet if i can't show baby's clips i at least gotta say well it was this many square feet one desk so yeah i don't think that's a go and then they advertise one price. <laughs> Make sure my nose clean. And yeah, my nose hairs are extremely long. I need to get them done, but I'm not letting nobody get that close to my face to this COVID come down. And I'm not gonna do it myself because every time I do it myself, I hurt myself and it's like a stinging, burning feeling. So a lot of times, don't think I got boogies on. It'd be my long ass nose hairs. But she was like, what time is it? Oh, I got plenty of time, a whole hour and a half. So let me go look for these command strips. So. Yeah, she was like, um, you can't record in here. And it's no biggie. You guys don't need to see it anyway because it's too small for me. Way too small. Love the location, love the people in there, but it was way too small. All right, guys. So I'm about to go at Michael's. I'm, she going, she thinks she not. So I'm waiting on her. I gotta go. Cause I can't do nothing without you. So, okay. So while I wait on her, I went, I be forgetting I vlog weekly and just did not run the camera. I went into Marshall's and got the In Full Bloom by Kate Spade. All right. And, sorry. I got Forever Elizabeth by Elizabeth Taylor. And I also got one more scent. What, I can't even remember. Oh, Mark Jacobs scent. It's not even a wrap. Jean Mark. Hold up, this ain't Mark Jacobs. I got got. Let's see what it smell like. It's the Jean Mark Paris. I should take this shit back. Hmm. I got it now. I read. Reading is fundamental, but I'm gonna keep it. Maybe. If I don't like it, I give it to my baby. Who over here eating? Cause I ain't going back to her house just to take that bag. Ran me a good look. Two masks. She got to run cross country varsity this weekend with my mask. Too much. We sharing a kids meal. Show them what's left. It was good, wasn't it? It was Real one piece tasty. of fish and some okra and I was just hungry and needed to grab some. But y'all know I don't really do fried food like that no more. But boy, what I ate about two bites, three bites. Very delicious, very well seasoned. This is coming from a chef. She is a chef. So I'm gonna run in Michaels and give me these hooks. You staying in? 
Yeah, she gonna stay in. You gonna stay in? Are oh, you gonna stay in? Yes, I gotta finish my food. Girl, you got two pieces of okra in there. Yeah, I ran into Lacey and have, where we at? Michaels, we at Michaels. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I follow her on Instagram. Do you know I follow you? You do? Yeah, that's how I knew you. Uh-oh. That's why I said, what's your page name? <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, mm -hmm, so I do. Try to look for this creek cut. Yeah, I, I need to make labels. I so. told her to go to Hobby Lobby to use the 40% off. Yeah. Michael's not, high. Yeah, Michael's high. <laughs> yeah. Guys, so I end up liking this fake Mark Jacobs. How the fuck did I get Mark Jacobs out of that? Oh my gosh. So I had gave it to baby girl when I got felt like I got finesse. But then I smelt it and was like, whoa, that smells good. And it was only $10. So she gave it back and I gave her one of my pink sugars in exchange. I don't like to be no Indian giver, so we just exchanged. <laughs> so let me figure out where they're gonna go in here. By the time you guys see this vlog, my perfume collection should be up. So, yeah. All right, guys, excuse me, my little pink moo moo. I just really thought I was recording for y'all. Baby, nah, this phone had died. Period and goodbye. But this is the um, In the Bloom by Kate Spade. Um, beautiful packaging, beautiful, beautiful packaging. But the box is kind of deceiving. Look at this little bottle. It's purple though. And it doesn't smell that great in my eyes. If you're into floral scents, have at it, sis. But I'm not. So it's, it don't smell too good to me. Don't smell too hot. I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing I'm just going to run to get. Then this Elizabeth Taylor Forever Elizabeth. The bottle has like this holographic. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, especially glass on glass. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can see it. So, both of these go on the third row because these are like designer, but lower end designer. So, yeah, they go on this little third row right here. And this is the Femme Noire by John Mark Paris. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you was Mark Jacobs, honey. But it smells so good. Just a regular, 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 regular bottle. And it go all the way on the bottom because it's like not name brand or it might be. He might be somebody, but I don't know. So I got to dip it low <laughs> and put him back down here on this back row, honey. He got to go in the back row because I don't know him. He must be somebody cousin or something. I don't really know. You know, but it smells really really good okay guys i'm just getting up i wish i had some more light because i feel like i really need to explain i get yeah i get so tired of explaining myself and i will explain this a little bit more when i do my black owned business haul but i am on a platform for people to give their opinions but i'm also on a platform to clear up when their opinions aren't correct okay so let's start there because that's when bullying comes into play like you guys love to come in our comments and talk shit to us and tell us what we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to be acting but don't like when we respond like that like everybody who show me love i understand everybody who's not gonna be on my team really i don't understand that because if you're not why do you follow me and subscribe to me like it just doesn't make any sense if i annoy you so much or something like that why even follow me? And that goes for me and any YouTuber. But um, I have to, like, I had to explain, guys. I literally had to explain that I'm not so busy. I just only pick up the camera when I'm doing something. So everybody's like, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And I'm like, dude, you guys see one minute to 30 minutes of a 24-hour day. Y'all don't know what I'm doing the rest of those 23 hours. That's one. And then I had to explain that when I'm running errands all the time, somebody told me it looks like I'm so, so busy all the time. I'm always doing stuff, but I say I'm taking care of my dad. Like, dude, I don't even know why I have to explain it. My dad is not laying in the bed incompetent, can't walk, can't talk. My daddy probably can get around better than I can some days because my girl be flared up. So I do not have to sit here and be waiting on him hand and foot. Like, 
And if I get some relief or somebody else is in the house, I'm free to do whatever I want. And most of the errands be for him. I'm going to get food. I'm going to get medicine. I'm going. That's the that's all I'm explaining about that. I promise you, because I will stop vlogging, period, before I let people try me like some people have been trying me. So then I just posted my blog from last week and you guys show me going through packages, sending somebody's package back. That's not the first, second, or third time I've had to do that. But some reason it hit y'all hard in that blog and y'all had a problem with it. Here's the thing. When I was looking for her package, I said, let me go ahead and show you what I can show because I am collecting packages for a black owned business haul. All of those packages I showed you are PR packages. I've worked years and paid out of pocket for a lot of those companies' products. So it's to the point now where they send me their new releases. There's not any anything behind it. They don't force me. That's just in hopes of me showing it in a video, using it in a video, telling somebody about it, or their token of appreciation for me repping them all these years. That doesn't have anything to do with what I've bought. PR, I mean, not PR, review packages or anything like that. Because people were saying, you sent that girl package back and you could have just showed it right then. No, because that's not the category her stuff go in. So, y'all, please, I will stop vlogging. I will stop YouTube, period, before I let people have me over here stressed out about what I do and how I do it. And I know what I'm doing over here. It's just, it's enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you don't know what you're talking about, just hush or unsubscribe because at this point, it seems like some of you guys follow people just to be negative, which that is going to happen. I realize that I'm on a very big platform, but you have to know that I have the right to clear up what's really going on too. And I don't think I'm going to explain anything else after this because that's not why I'm here. Y'all have a great day. I said I was done, but another thing is my daddy's surgery was in May. It is October, y'all. May, June, July, August, September. It is five months later. I can't go to the store and get some fruit. Like, chill. Just chill. Calm down. All right, guys. So, I'm headed out to pick up Nicole's medication. Um, Baby... Y'all, so much is going on this morning. Um, baby girl mixed up an order. And it I'm out of inventory, so it caused me to have to, like, lose inventory. It was either lose inventory or lose money, but the person was very understanding. It was like, just send me what I really ordered when you get it in stock. So I'm having to instill in baby girl that this is a job. Like, if you mess up like that on a job job, there are repercussions and consequences. So I told her, I said, I can either deduct that, that amount that I have to give these people or the price out of your paycheck or you can fold my laundry. Yeah, that girl said it deducts her pay. <laughs> these kids nowadays are so lazy. Like, I would have been like, uh-uh, I'm going to go here and fold these drawers, mama. Okay, don't deduct my pay. But anyway... I'm headed to pick up Nicole's medicine because by the time she get off of work, I'm having a little neck pain. By the time she get off of work, um, the pharmacy will be closed. And y'all, me and Nicole has the weirdest ass relationship ever. But I don't feel like I give Nicole her flowers enough. Well, I do. I do. I do so much. I do so, 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 so much. But, um... Nicole, oh, I'm about to cry out. Okay, okay, okay. This has been an emotional morning, of course, because I've just had to break down to you guys my life, and I never, like, to me, that's just like, whoa. Like, why do I have to explain what I just explained? But anyway, the, the, since the pandemic, I would say since I've been on my weight loss journey, um, nobody know this part because I don't turn on the cameras for this. Well, yes, I have. If you go back to a couple of vlogs, I have been hospitalized five freaking times. I have a stack of paperwork this thick from all the tests and stuff they've ran on me because everybody just wants to make sure that this is only GERD bothering me. In the process of me being in the hospital all these times by myself because people can't come in, I still have to come home and put on a game face 
and make sure my dad is eating. Make sure my dad is not throwing up. Make sure his wounds are healing. So I guess that's why it hurts me so bad that I have to explain this to y'all because I really be over here going through hell. Okay, I really be. I, so if I show a clip of me looking for somebody package to send back to them, that's not anger. That's frustration. Like, dude. Not only have I been to the hospital five times, and between all of that, my dad has been twice. Nicole has been through so much. At first, I felt like Nicole wasn't helping me enough. I voiced that to her, and she picked up. She really did, so I want to give her her credit for that. And when she picked up, she picked all the way up. It's some nights. Nicole got an hour of sleep. Because I was having anxiety attacks in my sleep. I was having heart palpitations in my sleep and shit. And she didn't know what was going on. So she was scared to go to sleep. And she had to be at work like an hour later. Like I have been over here going through hell. So if I pick up the camera and I'm happy about running errands. I'm happy about getting an hour break and doing something for me for once. Why is that a problem for y'all? I don't understand it. Like. That is like the most fucked up shit in the world. If you hate me that much, stop watching me. Stop watching my videos because don't try to make it seem like I'm not, I'm not going to keep saying that. But moral of the story is I'm trying to take care of her too because Nicole suffers from depression. They just diagnosed her mama with breast cancer. So I'm trying to make sure I go get these meds so she don't slip into depression or anything. And I, I feel like as of, as of this vlog, I'm just going to stop being so personal. If it's not business or something like that, I don't even think I want to share it anymore because I'm not going to allow... I keep saying y'all, but you know if you're my supporters and I'm not talking to you, I'm, I'm not talking to you. But I'm not going to... Y'all are not going to drive me into a Britney Spears meltdown over my life because y'all see me pick up the camera and I'm in Walmart. 23 hours of the day i'm at this house in this bed watching what i eat trying to keep my girl right trying to make sure my daddy don't slip back and i just feel like it's so unfair that i had to explain any of that to youtube but with all that being said thanks to everybody who do show me love some of you guys even live in my area you know that because of you see my truck around or you see the places I go you've offered to come help me some of you guys leave whole prayers and scriptures and stuff in my comments y'all don't know how much that helps me so with all that being said thanks to everybody who do understand what I'm going through thanks to everybody who do understand that I, I've never been a clickbait person so I don't know what you guys think I will how you guys think I will benefit about lying about what I do every day like how's they gonna help me but anyway let me pick up my baby medicine as if my day is not already just weird my neighbor's car just caught on fire so i had to evacuate my own house because i turned the block and i just saw smoke and it scared the hell out of me because my daddy stay burning shit and his tires are just literally popping off and the fire is getting bigger and bigger so I had to run in here and get my daddy and Suge out the house. Like, I just left 10 minutes. That's it, 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so I'm in the bed and one of the people who made a negative comment this morning came back and apologized. And I know you guys are like, why are you even worried about stuff like that? But y'all, that meant the world to me because I understand that some people just see it from a certain eye and that's why I always like to explain stuff. But um, they said they really didn't look at it like that or they didn't understand or whatever. And that they truly apologized. And it was one of those type of people that was like, I'm unsubscribing. You're canceled. Um, how are you going to be mad because people want you to show their stuff? And that's not the case. I want to show everybody stuff. I want all black-owned businesses to be successful. But, y'all, if I can't record, I can't record. Um, so... I felt like the right thing to do, because I want to apologize to the companies too if they feel personally attacked. I felt like the right thing to do is just send it back so they can make sales and sell it. 
I didn't want to hold their inventory and they can be making money off of that. That's what I thought. What's that, babe? I thought that was the right thing to do. Like, if somebody had my stuff that can't show it, I would want it back so that I can sell it to somebody who can buy it. But I guess everybody don't feel that way. But babe's home, so let me chop it up with babe. Say, hey, babe. Hi. What you buy? She get more packages than me now, y'all. Periods. I told her stop buying stuff. She don't listen to me. Stop investing till you your 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 ratio evens out and you made money. But what's this? Uh, the letters are going away. Damn, my eye look goofy. Been a long day. Wish I could drink some wine, but I can't cause of Gerd and just let my hair down, but um, bittersweet, but just double checking. On to bigger and better. <laughs> you said you just told me you was pregnant. <laughs> she did throw about to throw up. The girl just said she's pregnant. Well, I guess I'm raising this baby. Ain't no nigga gonna be around my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, you popped one in, but it's my baby. So, who wanna, who wanna bust? Who wanna fight? Just throw up. Turn that bullshit off. Just throw up. Say dumb shit. Just throw up. Just throw up. I'm trying. Let me try. I've been trying to throw up for 40 years. I ain't threw up yet. Have I ever threw up? Mm -hmm. No. Ever. I done been the drunkest of the drunk. The sickest of the sick. Honey, battling this girl. Mm -hmm. I just be wishing stuff could come up. <laughs> baby. Baby, I be too sick. <laughs> Shit, we loud echoing in the neighborhood. We got all the stuff back here, y'all. You can't see really. There's no lights. Oh, you, oh, it almost came. No. How it feel when you finna throw up? I don't know. It get you. watery. What does what get watery? What you, how it feel? I don't know. It just come up. Oh, the car said enough. Cut off. <laughs> hey, y'all. How y'all been doing? Y'all look at my eyebrows. Ooh. I don't orange them. I actually need to go get some razors. It's Wednesday. I'm off to view another building. Yeah, that's what I'm off to do. So, as you guys can see, I moved out of the salon last night completely. Um, the owner was very... The, the owner reaction was very different than I thought. And was like, you could have just left that here until you... Um, figured out what you're gonna do or whatever but y'all i don't like holding people's space up if they can use it if that makes sense so i'm headed to look at well let me wait because i don't know where i'm going and i need gps look at another space um office space hopefully they'll let me record if not i'll just insert pictures like i did with the last one so let's go yeah i'm so damn paranoid because when i was getting my shop i told you i mean stuff out the shop I think I told you all that it was like cobwebs and stuff in there because I haven't really been in there since March. And now I'm paranoid anytime something touched me in my truck because I'm like, what if it's a bug in my truck? I mean, I ain't scared of no bugs, y'all, but I don't want them crawling on me while I'm driving. You get what I'm saying? Okay. All right, guys, I'm here. I will show you the guys the outside, but I've decided not to do that in case I go with them. Um, the first one was definitely a no because it was too small. So I went ahead and whoa, 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 whoa. So I went ahead and showed you guys the outside, but um, this is actually a shopping center, which might be a whole lot better for me because um, I have access to go straight to a door and get in instead of going in, getting on the elevator, all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm about to. I have six minutes. I'm always super early to stuff. I hate being late, guys. It's like the most disrespectful thing in the world to me to play with people's time. So, um, yeah, this is my favorite. Actually, actually, 
I have the birthday cake label on here, but this is all the scents mixed together. And it's bum. And it's so moisturizing. Um my my um germ killer, which I will link below. I couldn't even get it out, y'all. Hand sanitizer is a little bit more accessible now, but support a black owned business. See, I'm tripping, y'all. It's a whole damn fly. How you get in here? Let me let me let me take this. Maybe it comes up. Maybe my seat. Maybe if a roach get on me or a cricket, I'm gonna cry. I don't see nothing. I do have my damn shades on. Baby. Because everything was coming out the boxes last night. And the cold, scary, scary. So I was like, girl, we could just go home and one of my friends could come up here and help me because all that hopping and running, we're going to be up here all night. All right, sis, so let me see where this man is at because I got things to do. I got a post office dropping everything. Guys, I got two giveaway boxes going on. I did a Snapchat giveaway. I mean, this is who won the console me by Nikki giveaway. So let me package these and get them out. All right, guys, so it is <clears throat> Thursday. And I might end the vlog because, um, yeah, um, I recorded a uh, black owned business haul. I recorded um, a luxury haul and I'm about to try to record an Amazon haul, but I have been having a rough time, y'all, because a lot has happened and it has spiked my blood pressure. It's um <clears throat> rightfully so. So I don't I don't think I'm gonna do anything else this week. I don't know. Um I uh, think you guys, I think that was this vlog. I don't even know what's going on, y'all, where I said that they had diagnosed Nicole's mom with breast cancer. And then the very next day, literally the very next day, they called and said that um, they were putting her dad on hospice because he has lung cancer. So it's just like, I'm having a hard time digesting all this because I'm just like, dude, nah, <laughs> nah, 2020, no, no. I can't and then she's not doing well so I need to give Nicole my undivided attention um so if I don't come back I love you guys love all your family love on people don't take anything for granted and um yeah if something entertaining or something pops up then I'll be back but I don't see it happening <laughs> um in the next two days so yeah love y'all you ready Mm -hmm. Open it up. Wow. <laughs> I got three good watches now. Oh, look who they are. Go for it from the hall. Come this way, my bitch. Good old bitty ass face. <laughs> Girl, okay. no. Uh, I'm cute. Okay. So for my small business hack of the week, I think I touched on this two weeks ago, but if you sell clothing and you need hang tags, hand tags, hang tags are very expensive to make. So get business cards with your logo on them. Get them round at the end. Get a mini hole puncher. I will put the link to this mini hole puncher. Um, I will put it in my Amazon store so it will be under the vlog and get your own tag gun. So you can do it all yourself instead of paying a lot of money for somebody to send you this basically with a hole punched in it. Okay. So basically, I just take like six at a time, punch the small hole right here. And that made my hang tag. So I take my label maker and make whatever. Some stickers, uh oh. I can get already with it saying it. I decided to put the whole word standard on here because the last time I just put an S for standard with these stickers you can also get from Amazon. And people was like, mine are too small. You send me a small. I know the S meant standard. 
So I decided to print it with the label maker. And you can get these stickers from Amazon. The problem is they only go up to 3X. So like if I have something that's a 4X, I put two 2x stickers on there and there was confusing people too so that's why i just went ahead and got a label maker these are my standard libra leggings i just put the hang tag here i take the gun through here be very careful because i do always stick myself and there's my hang tag put your back put a silica pack in here keep fresh keep the moisture out And just seal it over. And there's her. Leave her leggings in standard. Use her room. Let me see. Oh, girl, what you say about that edge control? That's some good edge control. Where'd it go? Where you put it? Oh, go ahead and get it, sus. What it smell like to you? It smell like red starburst very good let me go let them see again it ain't what it don't make them like all the way down but it's a good hole you know it ain't like but it, it ain't like the other edge controls they get oily as soon as you put it on but it ain't like you know stuck okay to your bye, head. That's enough. it ain't stuck to your head all right guys so i've been recording a whole lot so i'm sitting up here editing so I'm going to end this vlog, and I'll see you guys next week. It looks like I got black eye. This mascara and stuff, I didn't get off good. And look at my nose. Yeah, it started burning, so I got Vaseline on it. So it's skin dry in some places all of a sudden. Y'all know I used to be oily, but got to go. See you next week.